Hi, I'm Dave Long from Staticworks. In this sequence, we're going to talk about what's actually involved when you're tasked with putting in a floor that meets ANSI ESD S2020. I get called probably once a week by people asking me what the resistance of the floor should be in ohms so they can meet 2020. When you're looking at flooring, you have to think about how am I going to use the flooring? What are people going to wear when they walk on the flooring? The ANSI document actually recognizes the fact that flooring is part of a system. It doesn't operate by itself. So if you look at table two in the ANSI document, you will actually see right above the table two methods for qualifying a floor that technically meets the requirements of that document. Method one, which is the easy way to meet ANSI 2020, is to have a person put on static control footwear, take an ohm meter, hold one of the leads in their finger, attach the other lead to ground while they're standing on the static control floor, and take a measurement of the ohm's resistance of their body, their footwear, the floor, the adhesive, if the flooring uses adhesive, the ground connection. And if that reading is less than 3.5 times 10 to the seventh, which is the same thing as 35 million ohms, if it's under that number, then your system meets ANSI 2020. So it's not just about the floor, it's about the system. What I have in my hand is what we call a heel strap, a conductive foot strap. What this is, is a carbon loaded rubber cup that attaches to the back of your shoe. It actually goes over your heel. These Velcro pieces go on the top of your foot and then this tucks inside your sock. And what this does, this acts as an electrical bridge between the skin on your body and the conductivity of the floor. Because keep in mind, the shoes you're wearing in all likelihood are insulative. That means they're not going to allow static electricity to drain from your body to the floor. So the heel strap is the bridge that allows that to happen. So another way of looking at a heel strap is this is a portable wrist strap. The heel strap is a very important component in any ESD program because as I said earlier, we're not really looking at a static control floor by itself. We're looking at it as a system. And that system includes footwear. Heel straps like this are relatively inexpensive. There are a number of manufacturers around the world. There are a couple of links on our website. So when you qualify the floor based on S2020, you want to be looking at the footwear, the floor, and the interface. There is another qualification method. We call it method two. Method two requires you to go to some fairly extraordinary lengths. And when you go to do your quarterly or twice a year audits, now you need to have someone in a place where they have the equipment and they know how to use the equipment, which means you're probably looking at engineering personnel doing the qualifications as opposed to anyone, including the maintenance department, going out on the floor and putting down an ohm meter, holding it between their fingers and pressing a button. In the qualification stages, I would suggest that you look for one order of magnitude under that 3.5 times 10 to the seventh, knowing that you're going to have circumstances occurring like the floor gets dirty, someone puts a wrong wax on the floor, um, that the heel straps aren't tucked in properly. You want to build your system around the potential mistakes that can occur. 